Our story begins in 1978. Colonel John Blashford Snell and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales launched Operation Drake running youth projects from ships circumnavigating the globe to develop self-confidence and leadership through adventure, scientific exploration and community service. In two years, 414 young people took part in the Round the World voyage, working on land-based projects in 16 different countries. In 1984, Operation Rally began. Following the success of Operation Drake, the much more ambitious Operation Rally was created. This started as a four-year project running from 1984 to 1988 involving 4,000 volunteers and almost 1,600 staff on the renovated Sir Walter Rally ship. But its success saw it continue permanently with an emphasis on land-based expeditions. In 1992, Operation Rally became Rally International. Reflecting the number of volunteers across the globe, we widened the diversity of volunteers by raising the relevance and quality of our overseas expeditions and raising issues on global awareness. Today, over 30,000 people have taken an expedition with us and we continue to work with youth agencies and membership organisations to inspire people from all walks of life to be all they can be. From the very first expedition, Rally was founded on four challenges. The challenge to be selected. The challenge to fundraise. The expedition itself. And the challenge to make a difference locally when you come back. It is these challenges that make Rally special. We believe in our values of discovery, courage, drive and integrity and live them in all we do. Thank you.
Throughout the year, we were on expeditions in Borneo, Costa Rica and Nicaragua, and India. These inspire 17 to 24 year olds to join as venturers and 25s and over to join as volunteer managers. Our expeditions are challenging but extremely rewarding. Combination of community, environmental and adventure projects. Rally aims to provide a transformational journey for everyone who joins an expedition, awakening a sense of life purpose and self-belief by involving participants deeply in people, places and communities. I can feel my soul ascending I'm on my way Can't stop me now Then you can do the same yeah. What I Good evening Borneo, hello Jim, hello Mac, hello Yolanda, hello all of the Rally volunteers, the Ministry and all of Rally's project partners. Uh, Mac has asked me to send a short video message to tell you all about what Rally is doing in Costa Rica and Nicaragua. My name's Ross and I'm the country programme manager here. So to start with the current location, this is Volcan San Cristobal, absolutely stunning volcano in Nicaragua. I'm currently at the top of Volcan Casita doing the Moribius trek with Alpha 1. Uh, this is just one of about seven or eight treks we do over here. Uh, we have the coast to coast trek, the dragon trek, the macho trek. All of the treks are very different in landscape, but they're all common that they're about 240 to 280 kilometers long and they're all very, very mentally and physically challenging. Anyone that does a trek out here would say by the end they could probably overcome any challenge or obstacle that comes their way having done the trek. So other projects that we do here, our community projects are mainly based in Nicaragua. Uh, we do two different types of projects. Uh, as you probably know, Nicaragua is one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere. In the last 40 years there's been civil war and it was also devastated by Hurricane Mitch. So in Atuapa we work with a cooperative that was set up to try and combat poverty. So uh, we do water projects. A lot of people there don't have access to water. They have to take water from contaminated streams or work for, walk for long distances to get water. So the projects we're doing there will allow them to have clean and fresh water in every single house in the community. Uh, we've been doing this project for about five years and in another couple we should have water in every single place in the The other type of community project we do in Nicaragua is uh, a place called Miraflor in a wildlife reserve. Uh, we build community centres and schools, so uh, they're really important to ensure that everyone in the community there has access to education from preschool, primary, secondary, all the way through and to adult education classes. It's also a really important uh, place so that the, the, the community have a focal centre to get together, plan, uh, work on the strategy for the wildlife reserve and become politically engaged as well. In Costa Rica, we do all of our community projects in indigenous reserves. So there are around seven or eight indigenous peoples left in Costa Rica. We work in about three or four different tribes. These people have their own language, their own cultures, their own traditions, and they're all usually in very remote areas. So it's, uh, it's quite a stunning location for the ventures to go and work. And similarly with Nicaragua, we do water projects and we do school building projects. So that's our community projects. All of our environmental projects are based in Costa Rica. Costa Rica has incredible wildlife, incredible biodiversity, stunning rainforests, and we work with the Ministry of the Environment and the National Park Systems. Uh, we do things like build ranger stations, dig trails, walking trails for tourists, um, or we also do turtle conservation projects. And of course, these are vital to ensure that the rainforests and the turtles and lots of endangered species are still here for not only our grandchildren but our grandchildren's grandchildren. So that is a rough summary of what we do here in Rally Costa Rica and Nicaragua. I could talk all day and night about these projects, I'm very very proud of them. I feel we're making a massive difference uh, to the people here, to the wildlife and of course to the young people who come out here. 
positive projects. Um, I'll now leave you to enjoy your night. I hope you have a fantastic 25th anniversary. So this is Ross McKenzie from Volcan San Cristobal. Welcome from Rally India. I'm Mark, the country director, and on my left here is Anna, our new program manager. We're halfway through 09J, which is a fantastic expedition here in southern India. We've got 55 venturers and 20 staff, and today we're here with our field-based team to tell you a little bit more about what we do here. One of the most, <laughs> of the most exciting things about India is the cultural diversity, which is literally all around us. Today we're sat on Tamundi Hill in front of Nandi Hall. Rally India has some fantastic projects ranging from working in remote tribal communities to working in isolated national parks to checking on beautiful crowd mountains. None of these fantastic projects would be possible without the great support from our project partners who are grassroots NGOs who get us to the heart of local communities, forests and wildlife conservation areas. And our expeditions wouldn't be the same without the diversity brought by our HCBs and our international venturers. Um, and our HCB program is due to some exciting changes uh, this year, uh, which I'm sure BJ will tell you more about. So that's it from India. We hope you have a really successful conference. And we can't wait to hear about all the uh, fabulous outcomes which will no doubt come from there. So from Rally India, it's bye! Ross there in Costa Rica and Nicaragua and Mark and Anna there in India. Uh, it's now to show Rally Borneo and uh, the programme here in Sabah Borneo has gone from strength to strength and that is due to our strong relationship with the Ministry of Human Sport and our great project partners. Um, I hope you enjoy. So what of the future? By 2015, Rally will be recognised as a global community of active citizens passionate about making a difference to their world. <laughs>